Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you how to find bees and collect honey here in Minecraft 1.15 Survival Mode. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share. I always appreciate that. And take a look at my channel for more Minecraft videos. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, here we are inside of Minecraft 1.15. And as you can see there, I'm in survival mode. There's a nice bee nest right behind me. And I'll be showing you where you can find bees and how you can collect that honey safely. Now to work with bees, you'll need a few supplies. Here we go. You're going to need some sticks and some coal, charcoal or coal right here. This is for making campfires, which you'll need to safely collect the honey. You're going to need some glass if you want to be making any bottles for the honey. You'll need some iron ingots if you need to make some shears. You'll need oak planks and honeycomb, which you get from those beehives and bee nests if you want to make beehives right down here. And if you want to put those on scaffolding, you'll need to have some bamboo and some string as well. Okay, also have a flower. I'll show you why you want that in a little bit. And you'll also want to have a lead if you want to move bees from one place to another. It's the easiest way to do that. Okay, so we have our supplies all set up. Now let's first talk about where you're going to be finding bees. Let's just change my view here. There we go. Now I found this beehive after just a little bit of searching. I'm in a pretty good spot for bee nests right there for that bee nest. And then because I'm in survival mode, I went ahead and put a wall clear around that just to keep the sheep and the pigs and stuff out of here just for the video. So I have my nice wall in there. But this is a good kind of an area in here to find bees. It's a nice open glade and it's surrounded by a lot of trees. And in this whole area, I've only found just that one bee nest. So they're not really very frequent. They're pretty hard to find. And it will take a lot of looking around. But look for a nice open area like this with some flowers in it. And you should be able to find some kind of a bee nest in here someplace. Now because bees are pretty hard to find, pretty rare, you really don't want to be getting rid of your bees. I'll show you what happens when you do in just a second here, but you really don't want to be doing this because you want to keep those bees because they are hard to find. Now I've gone ahead for this video and I've grabbed a few bee spawn eggs right here so I can put some more bees in for the video, but in most cases you want to just leave them alone. Okay, let's now see what happens when you come over here and you try to collect some honey from a beehive just like that without doing anything special. And we're going to be getting stung here. I just want to show you that it's not the end of the world. You can survive a sting pretty easily. But here we go. There is our bee nest. It's full of honey, dripping honey, as you can see. Just take your bottle, right click. Bees get really mad and they sting you. There's one, two stings. And you lose four of those healths if you have two stings. And it should stop right there. You lose a little bit of food and you lose four healths. Not that big of a deal. Now the problem with doing this is that bees only sting once and once they stung, they're going to go off, they're going to die someplace. If we just watch that bee for a little bit here, okay, he just stopped being angry, but he's not going to survive that much longer. He's just going to disappear and go poof and we'll have no more bee there. And that's the real problem with doing this technique. Even though you can survive a bee sting very easily, it's not a big deal you don't want to be losing the bees because they're so hard to find. Okay, well, let's keep an eye on him for a second here. He should be going away pretty soon. And looks like he's just about ready to go there. Falling down a little bit. Kind of begins to act drunk. There he is, and gone. So you lose the bees if you let them sting you, and you really don't want to do that. Now it does, of course, clear out the bee nest right there. We have our honey but it's at a very large expense. Okay, let's just grab some more food here. I'll eat a little bit of bread. Now bring back our health, let that build up again. Give it a second here, and then as soon as we can, we'll come back and eat one more loaf and we'll be all fine again. There we go, and back to full health. So, you know, being stung by bees, no big deal, but we do lose those bees and that is a big deal. Let's just top up here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll take my bee spawn eggs here and I'll spawn a couple of new bees so we can keep on with our video. Put one there and I'll put one there. Okay, if you have bees in here, the way to get more bees is to grab your flower 
and then simply click on your bees like that and that gets the bees to spawn and we'll have a new baby bee. There it is. Easy to do. Kind of like spawning any other creature, breeding any other creature. That one seems to have gotten stuck. And that's a little little glitch I've been seeing in here. The bees do seem to be getting stuck. Okay, he's flying now. He's fine. But they, the baby ones seem to fly off and leave the nest. Now, speaking of getting stuck, this was supposed to have been fixed in one of the beta modes, but I've got a stuck bee right up there. He's been sitting there now for, oh, for about an hour of my just playing this game. So he's definitely stuck. So there's still occasions when the bee might get stuck in the game. I'm sure they'll be fixing that glitch pretty soon. Okay, so we have our bees. They're out collecting honey again. And it takes a while for them to get enough to refill the hive with honey. So while we're waiting, let's just get a few of our supplies set up. Now to safely collect honey, you need to have a campfire and you put it right down there underneath. So right back here, have a little crafting table. Let's go ahead and make a campfire. There's our crafting table. Now this is real easy to do. What you need is some sticks. So I'll grab my sticks here and start off with a little pyramid of sticks like that. And then take a coal or a charcoal, doesn't matter which one. I'll put that right in the middle right there. And then fill it up across the bottom with some logs. And there's your campfire. So easy to make your campfires. We also need to have some bottles. I have a whole bunch right down here. But again, bottles are also easy to make. Just take some glass and do a little thing like that. And that gives you three glass bottles. Okay, so you have those. Now, if you want to collect honeycomb, which is this thing right here, you're going to need to have some shears. And for that, just take an iron ingot and just like that, two iron ingots, and there are your shears. So we're actually now all set. Now, something else which we'll want to have later on is just some scaffolding to put our beehive on when we make a beehive. And that's to grab the bamboo here and put this all the way down one side, all the way down the other side like that. And then take some string, stick it on top, and there's your scaffolding. Okay, that's all set. We'll do a little bit more of this a little later on. So we now have some more supplies. And we have our campfire, which is the most important bit. Okay, let's see how these bees are doing back here. It takes them a while to get this thing full of honey. I've been timing this out between like 5-10 minutes to refill this with a couple of bees being active. And they're working away there. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video right now. And I'll bring it back up as soon as they have filled their nest with honey. Okay, there we go. They filled it up. And I also noticed that our little baby bee is still hanging out back here. I haven't seen that before, but there he is hanging out right there. That's fine. Okay, so we have our bee nest here full of honey. There it is dripping down there. Let's go ahead and just put our campfire right there. And then I give it just a minute so I see some smoke coming out the top up here. As soon as I see smoke, then I know we're ready to go. There it is. There's some smoke coming out the top. Okay, now this will be safe to collect honey from. Grab your glass bottle, right click. You've collected some honey. And notice that the bees have left me alone. They've not bothered me at all. So that's the real trick right there. Use that campfire. Works great if you want to get that honey out of that bee nest. Now the real important thing here isn't really the bee nest or the honey. It's the bees themselves. Where they're most useful is in pollinating crops. And even there, it's kind of iffy. It's easy to plant crops, easy to get all the crops you want. It's just kind of fun to have your bees around. They will keep on working with this. They will be going in and out of their bee nest here, even with that campfire. They seem to go a little bit faster without it. So if you want to get rid of that, just take an ax and chop that up. You get a couple of charcoals back from that. But it's really pretty easy to just leave it there and collect honey. If you want to have bees in a different location, you're going to need two things. First, you'll need a lead like I have right there. You'll want to have your flower put in your offhand. And then you also want to have a beehive so they can go ahead and hang out. And I have that set up back here, just a little greenhouse, a little demo greenhouse back there. Let's go ahead and talk about that for a minute while these bees refill that, because we'll also need to have some honeycomb to build that beehive. Okay, let's just walk over here to my little sample greenhouse. There it is, I have three bees in here right now. You can see one's flying around right there. This is the basic concept for setting up a greenhouse. Now the nice thing about the greenhouse, is that as the bees are gathering nectar, pollen, whatever from the flowers, they're going to be dropping some of that on your crops. 
and that will speed up how fast the crops grow. And as I said, you know, that's not really that big of a deal. You can plant a lot of crops and have all the crops you need anyway. So crops are really not that serious. But you will need to have, you know, some kind of a beehive in here. This is a manufactured beehive. And to do that, we'll have to get some of that honeycomb, which you can also get out of your bee nest. Now, I have this sitting over here on two scaffolding like that. This in the back, and then I put that beehive on the front of that one scaffolding and then a campfire underneath, and it's all set to go easy and safe to collect from. And then the greenhouse really is just to keep the bees contained so they don't go too far away, they don't get lost. There we go, pretty easy to do. Now these bees, I actually pulled these over from that bee nest over there, and then I bred them, got more bees, and I did it that way. So let's go back over here, see how we're doing. Since the one thing we need right now is some honeycomb. So we'll walk over here. Close the gate, keep the pigs out. And let's see how we're doing at this point. Okay, still waiting. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video right now, wait for this thing to refill. As soon as that bee nest is full of honey again, let's take a look at grabbing a honeycomb. All right, that bee nest is full again. Let's go ahead and get some honeycomb this time. We'll need to have their shears. There we are. And let's just get some space down here so we can see this work. Done with the honey. Okay, same thing, just walk up here, make sure you have your campfire going underneath, and then right click with your shears, and there's the honeycomb. There's some right there, and I saw some over right here. There it is. So that gave us three honeycomb, which is exactly what we need actually if we want to build a beehive and use that for them to live in. Okay, let's just go ahead and take a look at doing that. It's pretty easy to do this. We'll go back over to the crafting table right here. And in here, we want to take our three honeycomb, go right across the middle like that, and then take some planks across the top and across the bottom. And there's our beehive. Now we also need to have our scaffolding. We already made that previously. There's our scaffolding right there. Now what I found works very, very well is just to do a couple of scaffolding like that, and then take your brand new beehive, stick it on the front, there you go, nice and all ready to go. And then put a campfire, got some right here. Put a campfire underneath and you're all set for your bees right there. Let's go ahead and put that inside of anywhere you want to gather your bees at and you're ready to go. Now all I have left to do is to take some bees and bring them over to our beehive. In this case, I want them back there in the beehive inside of the greenhouse. So let's look around for our bees. They should be here someplace. They'll hang out pretty close to the bee nest here. Give them a second to show up. I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video for a second and wait for the bees to show back up again. Once they're here, I'll show you how to take these bees and take them over to your beehive. Okay, bees are back. Now, the first thing you want to do is to grab your flower. Notice how the bees come over here when I have the flower, they come over to me. And then move that flower to the left hand by using the F key. So it's in our off hand or our left hand. And then grab the lead. Click on one of your bees, attach to the lead like that. Now if I walk around, that one bee is going to come with us. Now the other bee may also follow the flower, but I have found that they won't necessarily stay with you. If you walk too fast, you might lose one of the bees, so I tend to use the leads instead although it's working out fine, just following me here. So either the flower or the lead, again, I prefer the lead. Let's go over here, I put in two doors, a double door this time, and it's come inside and plumbing quite a ways. There we go, so it's inside now, and let's go back and close the doors, and then just release the lead, and there we go, we've moved our bees over here into our greenhouse, actually moved two bees this time, so I have that taken care of. Now, if you want to have more bees at this point, it's real easy. Just get a flower, click on two bees. They're going to come in and make a third bee. There it is, a little baby bee. So once you have your first two bees inside of your greenhouse, it's easy to go ahead and get more bees. And you can then expand things as you want, but that's the whole basic system there. So there you go. That's how to work with your bees inside of survival mode without having any danger or any problem. Those are the bees really will leave you alone. If I even let go of my flower here, 
and let's transfer our offhand flower back over to our regular hand and then move off of that flower. There we go. So I'm not holding any flowers now. And the bees are just doing whatever it is that bees do. Notice I can come in here. I can actually bump the bees like that. They really don't care. It doesn't bother them. They're pretty safe. As long as you're not going after their honey, unless you have that campfire right down below. So there you go. That's how to work with bees inside of survival mode. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well. And also don't forget to subscribe. I do a bunch of Minecraft videos every single week, along with other stuff for graphics programs like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. And you can find more about that over on my channel. Okay, I'll see you next time.